Hello guys, it's Neil Pacman's back. It's Neil Pacman's back and on Let's Pull a Cruise Ship in Minecraft. And on last video, we left off with the superstructure. And if you see, I actually done quite a lot of work. If, I see, if you see, I actually have made the Lido deck area. And I think the ship looks quite decent. I'm pretty unsure about the Lido deck area right now because it looks quite off, but we'll see what I'll do. And if he's actually also made this turn, and I think I'm pretty happy with how this turn turned out. It's exactly how this turn I want to do to be. But I actually haven't done the underall part yet, so I'm just gonna complete it right now. So if uh, the, this cruise ship is going well so far, I like how she is for now. But the Lido deck, I think I'm pretty unsure if I, I want to keep it because it looks really weird with that Lido deck area because if so I actually put sign there and if you're wondering why I put sign there is because I like I think it was a Royal Caribbean ship I think it was like Enchanted of the Seas she had that type of stuff and I actually wanted to do it that's why they actually put the sign sign thing there but for this ship it just looks really odd I don't know why and I think I will actually remove it but we'll see but this ship is going uh, like alright so far. Uh, so I'm just gonna do this area. If see, there's like a pattern. I don't. I think it's the new pattern because in the how to build small creature tutorial I actually made tutorial for this part or how to do this part. So if you want to see how to make like the propeller part, the part we're doing right now, there's a tutorial on YouTube if you want to check it out. But Again, this series is not directly tutorial, it's more like uh, just building cruise ship without explain <laughs> explaining too much. Because explaining and building at the same time is not fun. But again, this will not, that means this series will not be step by step. And it might be that, like, in the next video, I actually do something majorly different or build something else that is really big. But I will try to fit make everything like i will try to have everything in video but it's pretty unsure like the stern i did off camera and the balcony that i could tell about that the balcony that's the turn and this turn but so yeah if you was watching this tutorial uh, i'm happy that you actually using this as a tutorial but this is not intended to be tutorial you can use this tutor tutorial if you want to but I'm not saying it's a full tutorial, so please don't go in the comments and say that I didn't do it step by step or I didn't show that part because I will not show that part. Or if you want to check when I'm doing like the, the part, like the uh, area that I don't record in series, I will have my cruise ship tutorial linked in the description. The difference is that that one is one year old, so quite old. And outdated but but I think it will help you if you just turn down renders in the right down because I can feel the lag and it's painful I'm so sure if you also can feel the lag on the video so I can go back to it. 50 FPS pff, that's kind of weak right now but I actually I've actually played on like 5 FPS once with sh like an amazing shader on. If you have shaders, I do not suggest doing that because uh, it will wreck your PC or laptop that, that I'm using. And yes, I'm playing on laptops. Don't judge me. Just be happy that uh, you're actually seeing these videos. <laughs> but the ship is confirmed. It will be a uh, uh, as pod ship. That meaning that it won't have shafts or it will have shafts, but it will be powered by as pods. And if you don't know what the pods are, it's like a prop like normal propellers have shaft and it's just a tube that leads to the propeller. But for the azipod, it's like a pod that will turn around and making the ship ma like really maneuverable. And I I've been thinking that I will do that. I real I really don't like pulling those ships because I actually don't know how the azipod shaft motor looks like. Because there are like really no pictures of it. And that's why I don't like it. 
so there we have the stern portion of the ship so now we're going to do like a keel divider i think it's called or off keel i don't remember the name it's like a thing right here in the middle that will go all almost all the way back to the ship but it's pretty far and it looks something like this i think i've seen it in pictures and i think there i know that they are there in real life so yeah that's if you're wondering why i do this it's because they are there in like real life and i'm trying to do this cruise ship as accurate as possible but i know that cruise ships in minecraft aren't really accurate you know that looks really weird Okay, so uh, this uh, I think it's too. Yeah, it's too forward. It is go back like this back, I guess. Yes, I think I will just do this back and make it from here because they don't really. Yeah, they're not really at the back because if this was a shaft ship, it needed rudders, but. Asbot ship doesn't really need a rudder, and I think there's no asbot ship with with rudders. So, yeah, and on asbot ships you need aft, not the stern thrusters, and it's just the bow thrusters, but in the stern. And then it means that this air will go way back there. And yeah, if we turn on the visibility. I can add the aspods, and if you're wondering, I I'm not good in building aspods at all. I rarely do it, so it's kind of a weakness, <laughs> if you say that way. It'll go down like this, and we'll make a propeller here because yeah, it needs a propeller. And I know that some people actually do these ads put these ads put really detailed, but I have not. I have discovered how to make them detailed at all, so I'm just going to make them pretty plain. I know that they, they lose a lot of slabs, but I don't really know how to make as it looks good with slabs. I should try. I will try to make them with the slabs. Yeah, if you look, it looks like that. Yeah, that looks fine, I guess. So, just realized how low the propeller actually will be. It will be scrubbed the floor. I can just already hear it. You know what? I'm actually going to move this whole pod by one block. Words so one but up like this so I, I hope it can hold the propeller or have a bigger propeller and make and not making scratch in the ground because it will be really noisy okay we need to make a quite small propeller because we don't have lots of space at all So, yeah, if you see here is the propeller, right there, that's the propeller, pretty small, actually I know how to make bigger propellers, but the ship, I think the size, the small size of the ship doesn't need that big of a propeller, so this should work for now, I'm gonna add like fins like there, because I've seen that they have fins like that, and I'm actually going to add heads here of smooth sandstone if you're wondering why it's because propeller actually have like a tip like here at the end no clue why i think it's like a really important purpose but i have no clue what it is for and there we have the azipod pretty small all right so the lag machine can move forward because i will make i will actually ex firstly extend this walkway by a few blocks like 
to you more windows I guess because I really don't want to make the uh, uh, like life boats too far forward because I've done it before and it doesn't really look good so I'm just gonna clean my inventory so yeah I actually been thinking of using jungle planks for the lifeboat decks pretty interesting concept because jungle planks have a really cool texture to it but I can't really make the lifeboat deck really wide so I'm just gonna do four blocks wide I know it sounds really wide but it's not because when we're gonna add the as no it's not the asbot station uh, the master station is gonna really be painful you know it's gonna be three blocks wide not really wide at all but make the life boat because we need to conserve a lot of space on the ship in this small scale or size I mean if you're wondering why I'm saying that the ship's small it is small compared to what real what ships re how big they actually are I'm gonna do shape like this because it looks cool I guess <laughs> I'm gonna use iron bars and iron trapdoors Um, I'm gonna stack this by why not 50 first of 50 stack. yeah it works I guess we need to add windows and stuff of course but we're not that at that part right now um, I want it to be like overhang why not overhang right here so it's like tune in I guess that tune in is, is not the word but there should be a word in there set with smooth quartz does this look better it looks kind of better not at all. it doesn't look better at all <laughs> Wow, uh, you know what, I'm going to remove one window Because I think it's just too much windows here Again, I added too much windows, if you see I'm also going to remove this window And we can start on a lifeboat thing I really think that this here, it's... Mm, uh, how, what do I do there? Okay. Uh, you know what? I'm actually going to stare this area. I know. I, s I know that I actually said I won't just stare like the exterior. If you don't know what staring means, it just means to put stairs to make it a bit smoother. And I actually said while well, now we're starting this series that I won't do it a lot or overdo it because I've seen people are actually overdoing it. And it makes the ships that looks ugly. It makes the ship ugly. Or just not cool, and I think I won't add it because reasons. So we can start on the lifeboat. So I like to use quartz, not smooth quartz, just normal quartz. Because I think lifeboats with normal quartz looks much better than smooth quartz. Uh, it will be 12 blocks long. And I think I won't add actually... I won't actually add tenders to the ship because she really doesn't need to deserve a tender, just kidding. She's just so small that she doesn't really need a tender. If this was a big ship, I would add a tender. But, you know, she is quite small. So 12 blocks long. Oh no. So move one up. So use, uh, I think I will use terracotta actually. White terracotta because they have a yellow terracotta and it looks pretty cool for a light foot color. So I don't want to really make a really advanced type of light foot. I'm just gonna make a point A to point B light foot. Not a lot of detail, just enough. Mm. 
what if I do this because I tried over there. Oak slab. I think that will look better. Yes, it will look better. So I'm going to do it. But for the middle part, I'm just going to put cut sandstone because that's the closest one to the looking of the dock. Because lifeboats are have a shape like this, and that was pretty weird. Mm. And fence gates or just normal fences to make this thing that I have no. I think it's just for people to hold on if they fall off the ship. Or oh, no, emergency. But you know, cruise ship never is an emergency except carnal ships. That was a joke. So that is the lifeboat. It looks pretty alright. Not, not, that, nothing that cool, nothing that much, but just a normal-looking life, lifeboat. And actually, I'm going to add barriers. I think should I add barriers or not? I'm going. To, you know, I'm not going to do add barriers. If you know what barriers are, it's just the thing that divides the lifeboats. Doesn't really have any much sense, but there they are, just there. Oak fence for the for the uh, thing here. I really don't know the name of this. I'm so sorry. The ropes. Wow, it's called ropes. Yes, I did know not. I did not know the name of ropes. Yes. So the cranes are here to make the lifeboat go from room. That's the crane if you see. It's a, it just makes the lifeboat roll lower it down and lower and move it up. I don't think it, it will move up because I think this is more like a one use lifeboat. One use lifeboat, mm, yes. One use lifeboat. I'm just gonna detail a bit of this uh, thing up here. Yes, the thing. The. Uh, I suck Kush names. Uh, what's it called? The. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get it. The master station. I'm gonna add some details here because. You tend to actually have quite a lot of details. Like not details, but things in the master station. And I just like to do them. Like the door here. Again, not the door, but I like to call it the door because it's a purpose of the door. And some trap doors, why not? But this area will be fenced off with this fence. I'm gonna add this to make it look something. I don't know what, but just look something. You what? Come on. Okay, I did something here, but I don't know what I did, so I need to do this whole thing again. My cruise building doing things all the time, getting a headache from it. Facts. Okay, that's not really facts, but yeah. Boom! If you see there, we have there, there we have it. I'm actually going to add some details now. I know it's quite early to add details, but. Yeah, I'm going to add this thing that is called details to the crane. Just something like this. If you're running wise, because why not? There. 
Uh, we have it. Yes, yes. I'm going to actually start stacking now. I will... Because I want to have like a... Like a... What's it called? Dining room in the middle. So I'm going to add three lifeboats. Maybe four. Dining room and two more lifeboats. To have like a really cool mid dining room esque thing. So one position here. And one position up here. I'm gonna stack it by two firstly, so stack with two. Okay, now I'm gonna stack with three, so there will be three lifeboats before the cool atrium esque thing. Yeah, I think that looks good. And if you see, there's actually a walkway around the dining room. I know it's pretty weird to have windows and a dining room, and like people can peep in, but you know, nowadays people will peep in anyway, anywhere we are. That sounds really weird, but that's kind of the fact. I'm sorry, guys, but sometimes the fact can't beat you. Oh crap, I did not actually know that this was going to happen. You know what, I'm just gonna do this. Yeah, this is just totally co copied from the Royal Caribbean ships. Like, totally, because every Royal Caribbean ships has a thing like that. No clue why, but I think it looks pretty good. And I, I'm gonna add three life with there, so four, three. But this ship, look, this ship has, be, has begun to start looking like a ship. It al already did looking like a ship, but now it really feels like a ship, and that's good. You know what? I actually found out something. I messed up something big. Oh no. Swallows because I'm really nervous about what I messed up. Oh no. Okay, keep it calm. I think I will get it through. I hope. Okay, I need to do it. Yeah, I found one messed up. Yes. One thing, in when you're using Worldit in a server, don't, like, if you mess something up, don't blame on the Worldit. It's mostly just your fault that it's messing up because you don't really know Worldit. And I know that I've been angry at Worldit a few times because I did not know what I was doing. But, again, it was just my fault. So, again, don't blame Worldit. Just, just blame yourself. For making myself like just read it right now. I it wasn't for it's fault, it's just mindful that I didn't I didn't see what I was doing correctly. I actually thought I could can add interior to these. Should I should I should I? Like, I actually want to add interiors, you, you might ask me why interiors, because it'd be funny to have, like, when people... I don't want to say names, but there are YouTubers actually that want inside one of the side pods of my cruise ship. I don't actually know if the video's still up, and actually said that there was no interior. And said that my... oh no. And said that the cruise ship wasn't good because uh, there were no interior for these lifeboats, so I'm just gonna add it for him. I'm not gonna call that guy out because I think I know why he got mad because he his ships actually had in terror on the lifeboats but I didn't at the time but my new crew ship will have interiors including this one so if you're watching this guy be happy <laughs> Let me remove these for the ship, the boats, I, I mean, I'm sorry. And yeah, let's continue. I'm gonna get three lifeboats and put it there. So 
So I actually need to copy this part. And copy this part. Copying this. So I think I need to stand here. Yes, I need to stand there. Starting with the life force right up. Right up. Boom, maybe they like this. Yeah, it's pretty much enough life boats for the ship. If you see, it's a really small ship. It can render this whole ship, and that just shows that the ship is not really big. Oh crap. I think it's one. Nope, it's five. I'm gonna get this right. Nope. Six. Nope. I think seven doesn't exist. Nope. Okay. Uh, watch. Um, three. It was three. Wow. I was actually concerned it wasn't three, but guess what? It was three. So I'm gonna add one more pillar here. Pillar, pillar here. Pillar here. Man, just continue the this masturbation here. So there will be two door, a door leading just from the dining room into the master station. I know really convenient, so if there was a fire or something. There won't be fire. Boom. And I just realized something again. I forgot to put the. You know, I'm not gonna add iron bars. I don't really care at this point to add iron bars to those. If you're wondering what I said, I said that there was like iron bars on the railing. Maybe there's iron bars here, no iron trapdoors, and if you're wondering why I do that, it's because it just looks better, I guess. And I'm actually going to switch up to spruce. And I should really actually look, watch, look how many, 33 minutes, oh no. Again, I did it again, whoops, I did it again. I'm not. That innocent. Okay, I should stop singing before someone actually starts recording and put it on TikTok and I get cancelled for singing. Just kidding. So if I quite quickly do this, I might be able to flip the ship in this video because I really want to do it. Like on each video, my goal is to flip the ship at the end of the video, and it will just be really cool to having the time to flip the ship. But I'm pretty unsure right now. But I think I'm right, I'm right about time. And the goal for the series is not to make these videos too long, basically. Is to like not to make it over 40 minutes and this video is like 35 minutes whoops so yeah th I think that pair area looks pretty cool come on we need to flip the ship immediately so we can fly quickly over here quickly at the speed of flight This position, I think I'm going to do minus A because it just removes air and stuff. You know, I actually can't do that. Never mind. Paste, cross your fingers, the server doesn't crash. And it didn't crash. Fantastic. And yeah, that's the video today for Let's Pull a Cruise Ship. Uh, 
Yeah, she totally looks like Kushi right now. I think she's. I think she looks really nice. I must say that she is a really nice looking cruise ship. I really like her. We can look at the propellers. Is here the propellers? So I'm gonna end this video right here. I'm sorry for it if this video is quite long. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Please like, subscribe, and see you next time. Goodbye.